Hi, it's Nikki Howard here with Intuitive Expression. Something came to me in my mind to try, and so I'm going to try it in this video. Uh, doing Intuitive Expression within a circle. So for those of you who don't know what Intuitive Expression is, it's really, very simply, intuitive painting that is layered and with the addition of essential oils for emotional release. You can see more about it on my website, nikkihoward.com, and the link will be in the comments below. So I have my piece of paper. I have a plate. I have my paints. I have my oils. I have my paint brushes, and I have a hairdryer. What I'm going to be doing with this painting as well is also using my Treasures Within um, emotional cards because they give us emotions, and I want to use this as part of my painting so we're going to come to that in a minute but i'm just intrigued on how this is going to be a circle like we often see with mandalas a circle is sacred it's life it's consciousness there's no there's no actual end or beginning it's continuous it's all is one and like with mandalas um it's really the 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 consciousness within that circle and i just wanted to to experiment and see what happens when we're only painting within one area so what i'm going to do i've got a plate and we're just going to i haven't tried this at all this is the first time i'm actually doing this so we're going to see how this ends up so as we know, the circle does not have to be perfect. It's just giving us an outline. And then I'm going to take my cards. For those of you who don't know these cards, Treasures Within, they have on the front of them an emotion. And then on the back, they have an affirmation. So for example, by finding joy in the ordinary, I make everything extraordinary. I'm open to new ideas, people and situations which will enhance my joy and happiness. And then it gives essential oils that can help you find that joy. So lemon, lime, wild, orange, elevation, doTERRA, cheer. So I'm going to shuffle these cards. And I have my eyes closed as I'm doing this. And then I'm just going to choose one with my eyes closed. Ha! Low self-worth. <laughs> Low self-worth. I know my self-worth. It does not depend on others. I am amazing. I make incredible relationships with amazing people. We lift and strengthen each other. Essential oils, bergamot, coriander, lemon and citrus bliss. So all I'm going to concentrate on is the emotion of low self-worth. So I'm going to write this in here. And this will help my my subconscious to focus on this. This is what I want to be working through. Uh, if it can find me any answers, uh, any roots, any fears of this, any blocks, anything that can come through that will give me pointers about low self-worth. And yes, this is quite apt for me. I'm just going to open my oils. So I have my oils here. Now I used to have my oils really neatly arranged, but that got too predictable. I knew where everything was, so they've kind of got mixed up. But these aren't all my oils. I've got majority here. So I'm going to set those aside. And I should be choosing those with my eyes shut. I have my water and I have my hairdryer. And I have my paints next to me. And let's just see where this goes. So I'm going to take pink has come up. And I'm going to choose, oh, seems to be another pink <laughs> coming up. So lots of pink to start off with. 
I'm going to wet my brush. I'm not going to use any oils in this first layer. I'm just going to see where it takes me. The feeling I'm getting already, especially anyway with the pink, but the circle feels soft and nurturing. It really does. It feels like it's it's holding me already just as I've started this. It feels almost like the womb. Feels very contained. I'm now going to choose the one with my eyes closed. Ooh, green. So we're very much in the heart chakra here. And I want to be adding an all to that, I think. I'm just going to close my eyes and let me choose an oil. And we have cassia. And I will talk you through the emotions of the oils afterwards. Because I, I don't like it to sway me in a way to influence my my thoughts Cassia take, it takes a while to come out this is the beauty of these oils as well they don't all flow in the same way because of um a cassia you can really smell the cinnamon um because they're all different no oil is the same so they're all going to be having different consistencies So with intuitive expression, there is no end in mind. It's the journey and the message it's actually giving. Oh, that's strong. Right, I'm just going to dry it now. You dry a layer when you feel that layer is finished. Now at the start it can always feel a bit strange. Um, you don't know where it's going, you don't know what it's about. You feel kind of a slightly um, reticent. I've just pulled like a deeper pink and I'm going to close my eyes and choose another oil. Clary, oh God, Clary Sage. This has come up, if any of you saw my last painting, um, Clary Sage came up in that. It keeps coming up every time I put, and I, that is with my eyes closed. And I was actually saying in the video that, um, you know, these oils are so powerful that you can keep bringing up the same one. And blow me down, that one comes up again. And they're going to be using my fingers now. So it's really just painting what we feel and with no prior thought, no judgment. Uh, sometimes I get almost like an image or a message to come and tell me what to paint next. Sometimes I don't. I'm just going to dry that a minute.
had a bit of emotion coming up there. I don't know what that's about. Huh. Okay, yellow. Into the solar plexus. And again, closing my eyes, taking my hands over the oils. And bergamot mint. So that's what I'm just going to do with these three oils. So now a drop of bergamot mint in my hand. A drop of cassia. Be careful with cassia, it is a hot oil. Which means it can burn. And I'm actually going to then breathe the three in together. That's a beautiful smell, that to a fact. Very, very deep. So as I'm breathing in the oils as well, I'm also getting the, oof, there's so much emotion coming up right now. Now before when it felt nurturing it now kind of feels restricted. Um, the feeling that's coming up is um, I'm creating my own limits. It's it's like before um, those limits were there to protect me and nourish me and nurture me. Now they're stopping me from growing. I actually want to be going out and I'm actually feeling frustrated and that, um, that emotion is, is making me feel tearful. Like it, it's really interesting doing this in a circle. It's incredible because that limitation is helping me to, to really feel the emotion. It's, it's putting something physical onto it. Mm. What, what, what I'm feeling with putting white on because the white is also in the paper it's like well if, if I can't um, these limits if I can't go beyond these limits maybe I can bring the white into the paper maybe I can bring you know I can connect to the outer world through using the white Okay, what's coming what's coming up and I want to write this down I'm keeping myself small purple has come through and I'm also going to take another oil So remember, this was about low self-worth. Okay, I'm just closing my eyes. Black pepper.
know what to use and what the colours I've been using in this in this layer. It's looking smudgy because I've got um you know all the colours merging into one. Turn this around. The thoughts that are coming to me now is. Am I allowed? Am I allowed to take this out of the barrier? I've set this limit for myself of having a circle. How am I going to deal with this? And I have a lot of emotion. It's 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 so interesting to feel turquoise and another oil frankincense. Wow. I must have no frankincense left, so I've just taken it enough just to get the last drop. Hmm, interesting I put that in turquoise. Because, you know, like the blue, the throat chakra um and the upper thymus chakra of communication living the truth living my authentic self and i wanted to to break these barriers and to, to live my complete full authentic self so it, it's like okay the circle is still there i can still still see the circle but i'm going beyond Consensus is really about truth, facing the truth, revealing the true self. And interesting collecting too, there's the father and the masculine. And it's kind of like feeling, well, I can see the circle. Because those limits serve me, they're a part of me. They don't serve me anymore. It's time for me to be big. I'm just going to... to close my eyes and choose another colour and we have more pink but a much deeper pinky purple and one more oil lemongrass And it feels like um, normally our purpose within the vortex is to get to the center because that is where the energy flows. It's almost like the river of the soul is right in that center. But in this, it feels like I start a small and I want to go big. I 
and that I have everything I need within. I don't need to look on the outside for more. There's so much that comes through from this. It's almost like this also represents of going on the outside to, to find what I need. But in actual fact, all the answers are within. That maybe also this circle is helping me to, to go within and know that my self-worth has nothing to do with being on the outside. It's all to do with being within. Don't look on the outside. Look deep within that circle. So I'm also going to write um, um, I don't need to look outside for my self-worth. The answer lies within. I am everything I need. I am worthy to shine, to be me. All I need is here and now. So if we have a look at the oils, so I, um, Cassia. Cassia brings gladness and courage to the heart and soul. It is a wonderful remedy for the shy and timid. It helps those who hold back and try to hide. When a person avoids being the centre of attention, Cassia can restore their confidence. Similar to cinnamon, cassia dispels fear and replaces it with self-assurance. It challenges the individuals to try, even when they are afraid of making mistakes. It aids those who feel foolish by helping them turn to see their own brilliance. It supports the soul in seeing its own value and potential. Cassia assists individuals in discovering their innate gifts and talents. It invites them to let their light shine and live from their true self. Well, that already has just proved its point totally. Um, in what I was saying, bergamot mint. Bergamot mint is primarily a heart revitalizing oil. It is both beautifully uplifting and tenderly calming to the senses. It has a balancing effect on the emotions, comforting and soothing individuals when they feel like their heart is weighed down by the disappointments of life. It lifts them and helps them know they will heal and rise again. It opens up the soul to gentle inspiration followed by calm. It is a lovely oil for peaceful meditation or tranquil contemplation. It's aids in simplifying problems that have grown out of proportion and are consuming too much emotional energy. It's also helpful when an individual's mind and heart are in the need of deep restorative rest. It, Bergamot Mint encourages individuals to consciously consider if they are welcome in their own heart. It invites them to come home to themselves and be inspired from within. Its aroma reopens obscured and forgotten passageways, creating a welcoming refuge deep within their being. This all facilitates complete self-acceptance so that the heart may unfold radiant, open and alive. I mean, this is unbelievable, really, isn't it? Because, as I said at the first, the heart tracker with the green and the pink. And this fact of going within, everything I have is, is within me, of looking within, of going within. You know, and this is why I love doing these videos, totally unplanned, because it just, you know, they prove their point. Black pepper reveals the masks and facades used to hide aspects of the self. 
since childhood at the womb. Most individuals have been taught that some feelings and behaviours are good while others are not. So instead of seeking to understand seemingly inappropriate feelings and behaviours, they usually judge, condemn and repress them. Individuals learn early on that to be loved and accepted, they must hide undesirable aspects of themselves behind a mask or a facade. It invites individuals to get real by digging deep within the less understood parts of the self. Whether one's true motives and feelings are acknowledged or not, they continue to exist. The more these feelings are pushed down, buried and repressed, the more they seek to make themselves known. If they're not honestly dealt with and acknowledged, they will often be repressed, expressed through erratic, compulsive or addictive behaviours. Black pepper also reignites the soul fire, fueling motivation and high energy and hastening the healing process. It gives the individual strength to overcome the challenges and issues they carry inside, invites them to live in integrity with their true self. It's always coming back to this true self that, you know, the, um, um, like feelings, etc., judge and condemn and repress. So it almost creates this invisible barrier that stops you from being the bigger self. Frankincense. The king of all oils, the oil of truth. Frankincense reveals deceptions and false truths. It invites individuals to let go of low vibrations, lies and deceptions and negativity. This oil helps create new perspective based on light and truth. Frankincense recalls to memory spiritual understanding, gifts, wisdom and knowledge that the soul brought into the world. It, this one's actually making me cry. It's a powerful cleanser of spiritual darkness. Frankincense assists in pulling the scales of darkness from the eyes, the barriers from the mind and the walls from the heart. Through connecting the soul with its inner light, this oil reveals, reveals the truth. And there is the inner light. Frankincense supports in creating a healthy attachment with one's father. It assists in spiritual awakening and helps individuals to feel the love of the divine. When they have felt abandoned or forgotten, frankincense reminds them that they are loved and protected. While this oil is incredibly powerful, it is also gentle, like a loving father who nurtures, guides and protects. Frankincense shields the body and soul from negative influences and assists the soul in spiritual evolution. Enhancing practices of prayer and meditation, this oil opens spiritual channels that allow an individual to connect to God. Through the light and power of frankincense, the individual can draw closer to divinity, healthy masculinity and the grandeur of the true self. It's always coming back to the true self. Uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass is a powerful cleanser of energy. It dispels feelings of despondency, despair and lethargy. It assists individuals in entering a healing mode or cleansing state. In this state, one easily lets go of old, limiting beliefs, toxic energies and negativity. Lemongrass teaches individuals to move forward without hesitation. It asks them to commit to a healing path where change is a regular occurrence. Lemongrass can also be a powerful tool in cleansing the energy within a house room or workspace and encourages individuals with hoarding tendencies to courageously let go of everything they no longer need. Lemongrass also clears negative energy from the brow chakra or spiritual eyes. As individuals let go of past issues and stagnant energy, they have increased their ability to see situations with greater clarity. It supports individuals' energy in flowing freely and smoothly. It has a powerful mission to assist in cleansing physically, emotionally and spiritually. So this last paragraph, let go of past issues, um, cleansing from the, from the brow chakra, increase the ability to see situations with greater clarity. And now we will come on to <laughs> Clary Sage. And I had no idea these two were going to connect. I mean, this is just unbelievable. When we turn to Clary Sage, the last one. Clary Sage assists individuals in changing their perceptions. It gives courage to see the truth. One of the finest oils for the brow chakra. Clary Sage dispels darkness and illusion, helping individuals to see their limiting belief systems. This is just unbelievable. Clary Sage encourages individuals to remain open to new ideas and new perspectives. It can assist during a healing crisis when a drastic change of perspective is required. Clary Sage opens the soul to new possibilities and experiences. Clary Sage assists in opening creative channels and clearing creative blocks. It eliminates distractions from the mind and assists individuals in finding a state of emptiness where creative forces may be realised. Opening individuals to the dream world, Clary Sage increases the ability to visualise and imagine new possibilities. It teaches the spirit how to use its divinely given gifts and is especially helpful in clarifying spiritual vision. 
It assists in developing the gift of discernment. It invites individuals to expand their vision and accept the reality of the spiritual world. So, it's, you know, all these oils, as you know, I, I chose these all intuitively, eyes closed. I had no idea the meaning how they're actually going to fit into this and then what came through it. It all speaks for itself. Um, and when you remember what was said about this, about the limited beliefs, keeping myself small, that everything I have is within, it's really opening up, coming back to my true self, my authentic true self through the frankincense and the turquoise, um, living the, the creative, authentic self, it's all there. And it's so interesting doing with the circle because the limit is there, but it didn't limit me. It helped me to push me down to bring me back out. So I'd love it, you know, if you try this at home, draw a circle and then paint in it and see how that makes you feel. I had no idea how this would go, how it would feel. But for me, it's an incredible way um, of working on something, of putting something there that will help you, to, almost like as a magnifying glass. Um, and it's quite funny because looking at this, I can actually see an eye here, the spiritual eye coming in, which is the, the clary sage. And this clary sage has come up to me. I, I've drawn it nearly every day this week with my eyes shut. And it's come up two or three times in paintings as well. And it's all there. So I really hope you enjoy this. Um, pop over and see more about me on my website, nickihoward.com. I also explained about intuitive expression on there. I'm also running a facilitator course, not only to be a facilitator within a community, but also be a facilitator for yourself, to hold space for yourself where you go through the healing process of intuitive expression, because it is so powerful. And I think you've just seen in the, the short time of this, it's only 30 minutes, the power it can have in just one session of illuminating just where you're needing to work. And let's just remember what the card was that I pulled. It was low self-worth. I know my self-worth. It does not depend on others. I'm amazing. I don't need to go outside. Everything is within. I make incredible relationships with amazing people. We lift each other, strengthen each other. So there you go. Now I have my answers. And from this, these um, phrases that I wrote, I can now go and journal these and investigate them more deeply. I can take one and do another painting with it and just really expand on this. It's just so powerful. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to turn it around just so, you know, you might see it from different perspectives as well. See, there's also an eye there with like almost like the eyelashes. And I also see I see a cat's face in here. I see a face in, in a hood where there's actually an eye here, an eye here, and a nose. And it's almost like a hood here. Turn it around. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And put in any comments below anything you see in the picture. Maybe what your favourite oil is. What you liked about the painting. What you didn't like. And also if you try it yourself also as well. Put some comments in. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.